Today I'm headed out to Half Moon Bay, the ocean course, and I'm going to show you how not to play this golf course as a mid handicapper. Let's head out there and see how I did. Here we go. So starting off on a par 5 here, spinny fade, what's new, but there's no driving range here uh -oh. so we're going to have to settle for this swing in the morning. I have no idea where I'm going, so I'm just going to try to go up, it's blind here, so. Having never played here, you're going to see a lot more conservative plays for sure. I guess I advanced it. <laughs> 127 yards up little uphill a little cold first couple swings gonna club up let me know in the comments if you take extra club in the morning when you first start out a little toey and it drew a little bit but we're on but we got a long putt i think as a mid handicapper one thing i struggle with is getting the speeds of the green Pick starting the off sit, 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 sit. i'm really happy how this putt turned out and we're looking at a reasonable two Not putt bad. we were sweating it a little bit but we cleaned it up for par Woo. Not gonna lie, I was sweating that one. Okay, I'm gonna fade it off these bunkers here. This hole's gonna be painful. Uh -oh. I lose the ball outright, end up hitting the trees, and it kicks down. Out right. Pop up. You come up to your ball and you see uh, freshly broken twigs. That's how you know it's not gonna be good. Check it out. Boop. <laughs> you can't see my ball. I'm not gonna try to do anything heroic here. Just advance it. Get myself to get my third on the green. All I was thinking here was fairway, but I ended up missing this to the right. All right, up and over. That's my only choice here. This ends up fading again, and unfortunately, we end up into the sand trap. Stay out of the trap. Please fly out of the trap. Oh, 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 I just popped right into it. And if you know me, oh no, you know I'm one of the worst bunker players. Oh, ho, 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 ho. and you're not going to be able to see it, but this attempt doesn't even end up on the green, so I have to take a chip. This is not great, guys. And unfortunately for me, this chip doesn't roll out, and I left myself with a long one. Very short. Oh. We try our best here to convert the triple, and it doesn't work out. Oh. And I've been being honest, we're sweating the quad putt as well. And I think my expression says it all here. Oh wow, look at this. What I don't want to be is in those traps. So I'm going to play a little safe, more conservative. And as hard as it is, I think the best thing you can do in golf is to forget about the previous hole. I feel like that needs to go, and am I going to the trap? Definitely easier said than done. Oh, it barely cleared. Is that going? All right, it is uphill, toe to toe would suffice. And I'm not gonna lie, it's moments like these that can make you forget about a previous hole all me. the easier. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hole's apparently hard dog leg right. I'm sure there's like a trick or something that you can do, but I'm playing it pretty vanilla. Once again, trying to make the smart play. Oh no! And it doesn't quite or, work uh, out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now is not the time to get cute with it. Just advance it. Mentally, I was just trying to put the ball where I thought I would be off the tee and go from there. A right, really awkward lie, but about 75. With a manageable third, we end up hitting the green here. A little flippy. Is it even going to reach? But just barely. Okay, it reached. It went right because of my lie, but pun for par. And yet, here we are faced with another long putt. Stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. And honestly? Ah, well... I'm rolling it well. Not a bad result after that. a top drive. So, I'll take it. Okay, I think this is a dog leg left or it just goes up the left side. I'm just gonna go off that trap and fade it off. Here we are, faced with a short par five. Well, I didn't go off that. I faded it off, but more like I'm in the center of the... Just wanna make sure I have a comfortable third shot into the green. With water right, I'm playing it safe. Oh, that was kind of weird then, but all right, life's not that great. I barely missed the fairway. Balls below my feet. And we're still struggling and leave this one quite short. Wow, that caught up so hard. <laughs> That's not so great. We're trying to bump and run, and this one rolls out way too far. Sit. Wow. <laughs> and we're not making it easy on ourselves today with these long putts for par. Or that way at the end. I did not have it breaking that way at the end. Okay, so this is all into wind, but even if I hit it super hard, I don't run out of fairway. <gasps> hang on, hang on, don't, don't kill a house. This was a bad time to snap hook it. All right, well, that one was nowhere to be found, but since I'm playing by myself and there's no one behind me, I'm taking another one, being legit here. And after not finding the first one, I came back with my cart and hit a second one. All right, we barely covered that trap. What's 60 in the wind? Oh, shit. And we end up in another sand trap. And we're in the bunkers again. 
I should title this video how not to play, how not to play this course. And if you're thinking I was going to fail at this bunker shot, well think again, sometimes I get kind of lucky. You know, sometimes I surprise myself even. We're putting for double because of the out of bounds and we're not able to convert. Oh, I broke more than I thought. Oh. All right, 181. <clears throat> get on the green, that's all I want. No surprise here, but I did not get on the green. Wow, I'm just hitting everything skinny. I missed right. We're trying out the 60 degree, and we're unable to get it to stop. Check, 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 check. Oh, came out pretty hot. And something, 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 long putts for par. If you hit it. Short. Bogey. Ah. I usually number one handicap holes are very long par fours. This one is no exception, but I got wind helping me. Downhill, wind helping. This one rolls out pretty good. I didn't hit it all that solid, but hopefully it just covers. All right, downhill, wind behind, 144 yards out. I'm not gonna lie, with no warm up. What am I doing? It is pretty hard to establish a rhythm and get into a groove. It might be hard to see this, but this ended up being a really good chip. Oh my gosh. And coming up next, I'm going to do a short little blurb on optical illusions with wide angle lenses. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just to address something real briefly here is that this distance is going to look shorter from this angle than it is from the angle that I previously had my camera in. You guys know me, I keep it, I keep it real, but for all you doubters out there, the ball's in the exact same spot. <laughs> now that we got that out of the way, we clean this one up for par. Oh yeah par on the number one handicap hole. I think that's nice about not being able to hit it far. You can't reach hazards. And I'm not gonna lie, I took a look at the score and thought, hey, a par here and we have bogey golf. Finny Faders Club, where you at? All right, 121, went behind me. I don't wanna be in a trap for, please, just don't wanna be in the trap. And in typical golf fashion, sometimes you wish so hard that something doesn't happen. It's fading a little. I just don't, don't be in it. And it does happen. Oh, this lie is ugly. Fried egg. Gotta make sure there's no cars, no people, no cars. <gasps> oh, oh shh. Well, that could be out. And I know what you're thinking. There's no way that ball stayed in bounds, which it didn't. I pulled it across the fence, gave myself a two-stroke penalty because I didn't want to go back to the sand, and continued onward. Ooh. Unfortunately, we made this for quad bogey, but it was a pretty brutal front nine. <sighs> two putt. I have brutal front nine. Short part five. Dog leg right. And I don't fade it. <laughs> of all the holes not to fade it. All right, don't want to be in that trap. That's all I care about. My club selection here was solely based upon <laughs> avoiding fairy bunkers. I drew it a little bit off the toe, but 109 yards, take my pitching wedge and just get it on there. And we're still struggling with approaches into the green. Oh, I pulled it weirdly. Don't be short. Missed it short right in front. We come up short again on the bump and run. Oh, I got a fringe boost, but I think that helped. Even with the fringe boost. Oh, I just came over it. And just like the front nine, the trend of long par putts continue. Too hard. Oh well, okay. Wow, this is a cool hole. Okay, gonna go up the left and fade it. It does feel nice to execute on a shot that you said you yep. would. All right, if I can get my driving better, more confident, we should Hopefully shoot better on the back. All right, 150 something yards. This was my best hit iron of the day, and I kind of cooked it. Oh my gosh, if that goes into the sand trap. Oh, we're over. I'm not even gonna line up my ball because I don't think it, this is all gonna be a feel thing. Here we go. Just hit and pray, yeah? And the Half Moon Bay old course was showing its teeth here with how large the greens are and how much break they have. It's gone. Ooh. Sit. And continuing with the theme here, getting tired of saying it, but having long putts for par is not how you score well. Oh. All right, this is like an open-ish hole. Of course, this fairway is massive, and of course, I miss Maybe it. I do need to go that far left. I'm gonna miss the fairway. Unbelievable. The fairway is a mile wide, and I missed it. Now I have like a 200 yard uphill shot. We're fortunate to make good contact here, but we still end up short of the green and in the rough. But a good bump and run chip here sets us up for a nice short par putt. Go. Go. 
There we go. Sounding off here, my fellow bump runners, where you at? Bump runners, where you at? All right, it's 147, but it's playing a little into wind, it feels like, but the flag is pretty still. I was playing for a fade, and I pulled it straight. I pulled it, and I hit it pretty hard. I hit on the green, but it rolled off onto the fringe, so I can't mark it. One thing's for sure after watching this round back, I'm getting along well with this Cobra arm luck putter. Stay up for me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And it's nice for a chance not to have a 10 foot putt for par. Ugh. I had to rub my eyes here because I, I feel like this is exact copy of an earlier hole where I duffed my tee shot. So having learned from past mistakes, I took out an easier to hit club off the tee. Slappy fade. Just what the doctor ordered. Oh yeah, that's a club win. I flared this one out a little bit to the right, but we're on in regulation. Uh, it's gonna be a little right of my target. Just be on it. I hope that's green. But once again, we're left with a very long birdie putt, and all I'm thinking here is two putt to make an easy par. Oh, oh, oh. Not bad. And we do exactly just that. Feeling good here with the par. I need to clean those up. Water up the left side the entire way to the hole. See how this goes. <sighs> Slappy fades. Spinny Faders Club. Alright, just not going to F with the water. Up the right hand side all day. I think I let the water get into my mind too much and we play it too far right. And now, we're in the rough. Oh, I think I hit it into the... Hit it into the rough, but... Given the amount of divots I saw around my ball, a lot of other people were thinking about the water too. That looks pretty decent. Oh, sit! Still trying to get my touch around the greens with the wedges. Not bad. And we're okay with this result. <laughs> toe to toe for sure. And we barely missed out on this par. Stay up. Oh. Dang. Groundskeeper singing me a song. I have to hit a hit a good shot now. I must have hit a speed slot on this hole as the ball rolled out pretty good. That'll do. Oh, feels good just to see it go into the fairway. Let's just get it on. 110 yards out. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> Come down from that hill. <laughs> so we're stuck on a side hill, sloping away from me. I'm just hoping to get onto the green. Oh my gosh. And the result ends up being pretty dang good. We take those. <laughs> I think with my previous ship, I overread the green break. and I thought it was going to break Ooh. more than it did, but I'll take bogey from that position. Was it meant to be? I'm gonna ride for the flag, and if it fades, it fades. Spinny faders, rise up. I know you're out there. Comment down below if you spinny fade the ball. Fading too much, I think. Oh, we're just right in front. Another long putt from off the green. We're just looking to preserve the two putt, and we do a half decent job on the first one. Oh, that one's. That one's sneaky. Unfortunately, we're able to clean this one up. Oh, yep. Oh. I'm not sure if driver's to play, but I don't want to have to deal with the long second, so. I missed it here. Actually makes me end up with the long second. I mean, that was like terrible contact, but that's not even that far, actually. Wow, what a finishing view, huh? Anyone watch Tin Cup? Oh, no! Uh-oh, that's... I was determined to hit it over safely. Gone. <laughs> uh... So we reload. Huh? And unfortunately, this one also goes into the ravine, into the hazard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, another one. And finally, we hit it over the water, and it's not even on the green, it's just short, but I'm happy that it's not in the drink. I'm over. At least I'm over. To me, this hole is challenging because you have people watching from the hotel and the practice putting green. Stay. All right, I would really just like to two putt and get off this hole, as beautiful as it is. I even played at a super early hour, and there's still a decent amount of people out walking about. So I had no idea what this last putt was for, but apparently it was for quintuple bogey. Oh, I don't even know what that's for. Show it up on the screen. So at the end of the day, I showed you how not to play the old course at Half Moon Bay. Uh, I got my money's worth, I guess you can say, with the amount of strokes that I took. But yeah, that's golf in a nutshell for mid-handicappers. They're not all going to be good. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Keep chasing. Get lucky sometimes, and I'll see you in the next one.